Welcome back to week three of your quick start and we are going to share some different features here and the first feature I want to share is the open ebook. This is a truly dynamic teaching tool for you to use in your classroom. So once you hit open ebook, so once you open the ebook, you have your table of contents over here on the left hand side, a quick navigational tool to get to any part of your book. So I'm going to go to my chapter in my lesson that I have been looking at. So now I can look at it through the ebook. On the top toolbar here, there's a glossary and an index. Some other key features that we'll discuss. The first one I want to talk about is this uh, magnifying glass because you can really use this as a key teaching tool in your classroom. So I can just pick up that magnifying glass, drag over any part of this, and it zooms to that exact part of the page. So I showed you a lesson presentation in week two, but maybe perhaps you would like to just start your class by having the kids turn to a, your students turn to a particular page. With this Zoom tool, I can create and use any part of my ebook basically as a presentation tool. Now, once I do this, the uh, question asks them to fill in the chart below. So maybe you're doing that, maybe your students are doing that. And the dynamic part of this is that you guys and you, only the teachers, have this really cool button called Answers. I like to call it my Smart button because then I can turn my answers on. Are off. Now, what's the real dynamic part of this? Well, many of you probably have some type of interactive whiteboard in your classroom and have been using maybe a PDF file of a book to write on. With this tool here, whenever I scroll down on the page, my answers stay. So, in other words, I don't have an ink layer that I have to worry about to open and close because this will stay on the page. Other key tools here is we talked a little bit about the Mathematical Practices Handbook, our playbook at the beginning of the um, course, but also keep in mind that every content lesson will ask the students which mathematical practice did they use. So for example, you're teaching this and you want to ask the students which mathematical practices did they use. You can pick up a highlighter and maybe they use mathematical tools and reasoned abstractly. So those could be the two tools and you could discuss that and use that highlighter with your students as well. Other nice tools here up that are easy to use are also a pen tool and a sticky note. So I can go in here and write myself a sticky note. And this is just a nice tool, not just for you, but to show the students because maybe you could say, um, you know, study this key concept for the test and save. I can put that sticky note anywhere I would like to. So remember that sticky note will be there. The nice thing is, is it's there for the student, for the year subscription, 365 days, but for you, the teacher, this is your teacher book that you'll have for the life of the adoption, so that sticky note will continue to stay with you throughout the years. So your carousel of resources are right here, such as any of the worksheets, and um, of course, there is a glossary, any animations that are linked to the um, this particular lesson will be there. And another key thing that you may notice is underneath the uh, blade of the examples, you'll see this little icon, which is a personal tutor. And these are um, additional examples that mimic the examples in the book. Some of the key features of this personal tutor is that they are found in English and in Spanish, and that they are available for parent support and student support 24-7, and are linked right there at the lesson. So if you just click on the personal tutors, this will take you to this page. And uh, these personal tutors are at point of use and available in English and in Spanish in many instances. So maybe you've explored some of your tools in your carousel. Another key is down at the very bottom is I can 
talk, I can just scroll through with my arrows from page to page, or say I want to jump from page 7 to page 10, I hit enter, and that quickly it brings me up to my page here. Now I chose this page because this is where my guided practice begins. So excellent opportunity for you to make sure that your students are on target with this particular content lesson. At the bottom of guided practice, you'll notice we always build on the essential question and allow students a chance to rate themselves. Remember, a fantastic opportunity to use your on and off key for your answers. At the very top here, you do notice you have a search engine as well as a standards key here in the ebook. Now, one of the previous videos, we explored the standards key on the home page, but let's explore this standards key because it does look a little different here. This standards key allows you to view each by lesson. So, for example, I'm in lesson 1-1, and this shows me exactly which standards being checked. If I would like to keep track of it and create a report, I can. But another key feature here is to view by standard. So perhaps later on in the year you've given a benchmark test and you're looking at a particular standard that your students didn't score so well on. I can just scroll down, find that standard, and see exactly which particular lesson or lessons that the McGraw-Hill book has taught that standard in. Maybe it was a day that I was absent and my students had done this particular lesson on their own, or maybe it's a lesson that we just hadn't gotten to. So this standards tracker is a key tool. Uh, I'm going to close it out because I want you to notice now it took me directly, this was I believe on multiple representations, it took me directly to that page to see um, that particular standard. So this concludes the video of exploring the ebook. Uh, I encourage you to go in and explore the ebook. Keep in mind that this toolbar, your students have the exact same toolbar here that you do, except for you have this really cool smart button. So I'd like for you to go in and, and explore it. I'd also like for you to go and highlight a page, create a note somewhere, and then maybe look up at a particular standard.